He's through the Nakama midfield. Last chance before full time. He's through the Nakama midfield. Last chance before full time. Shakes, aren't you bored of that game yet? Yeah, you clock it like every time you play. I don't know why you play that thing at all, brother. Why would you want to play fake football when you're going to jam the real thing against Nakama tomorrow? <laughs> Super League 3000X is just like real soccer, Cool Joe. Sorry, Shakes. Games just don't impress me. The ball gets away from him. Missed opportunity. <laughs> It is kind of dated, but apparently the new version is going to be so good. Amazing graphics and super realistic sound effects. <gasps> oh, yeah. And the world's best players. Coming soon. Super League 4000X. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, Big XP feeling totally nerfed right now. <laughs> I'm Alex. I'm gonna motion capture your moves for SL4000X. Hi, Alex. I'm Shakes. Uber, cool. You wanna... Um, it's Shakes, not Uber. Uh, Uber's from Iron Tank. Uh, it's an expression. Ah, uh, saws. Uh, uh, I mean, sorry. Sometimes I forget how people speak out there. You ready for the grand tour? Huh? <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Uncool Joe. Phew, is that a funny smell or is it just a ping pong? Table tennis to you, sucker. Uh, so I'm guessing you know each other? Hey guys, meet Chill John, world's number one ping pong player. Table tennis? Everything he knows about, well, everything really, he borrowed from yours truly. Police! I'm past those beginner techniques, sucker. I am the new king of spin. Your style is still cool, Joe. Your spin is thin. Huh. <clears throat> Tour is starting. You guys coming? First up, it's the coders. Super intelligent brainiacs who build the games. The testers basically play games and eat chocolate the whole day. <laughs> cool. Where do I sign up? Here we have the sound studio. Real Super League players and coaches are contributing their voices to SL4000X. Yeah, good call. The sound effects in 3000 kind of sucked. Game over. You lose. <laughs> Game over. You lose. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. Can you make it feel more summery, more sunny? What? This isn't the weather report. Don't worry. We're almost there. Take 346. Go. Uh, I give up. And finally, where the real magic happens. Super Strikers? The Motion Capture Studio is where we capture every detail of your moves. Every detail, hey? <laughs> yes, yes! Genius! Fantastic! Do it again, but into the microphone this time, yeah? <sighs> Welcome to the Motion Capture Studio. The position and movement of the sensors on your suits are recorded by special cameras, and the data is input into this computer. All right. Oh, I read. <laughs> oh, please, Alex, don't be motion capturing this, okay? <laughs> don't worry. The only thing I want to capture is all the classic Super Strikers moves. What? You guys rocked 
How many times I gotta tell you guys? Video games just ain't my thing. But the game won't be the same without the four pillars of spin. I don't know, brother. <sighs> Come on. All right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? I, uh, um... It's not Cosplay Friday, is it? No. Oh, I feel like such a fool. Don't. You're rocking that look. Great costume. Uh, thanks. Hey, why don't we swap? Really? Really? Like, really, really? Really, really. Like, really? Get ready for the four pillars of spin. Left spin. Right spin. Back spin. How does he spin the ball like that? Unbelievable! Can't wait to see this stuff in gameplay. Top spin. I got this one, I got this one. Uh, okay, you can have this one. Cool Joe, your crosses are amazing. <laughs> Thanks, sister. And how do you guys know where the ball's gonna go? Practice makes perfect. Uh, more like practice and practice and practice makes perfect. SL4000X is gonna rock! You guys have been so much help! Yes. You've been so much help, Super Stikers. And there you have it. Cool Joe's four pillars of spin. Know them, spot them, intercept them. It will always be one of four. This is going to make Super Striker's head spin. <laughs> huh? Now I get the laugh right. It's Nakama versus Super Striker's live from Gashuku Stadium. These two famous rivals are equally matched. But if one player can make the difference, it's Cool Joe. The Crossing King! There's the cross. Shakes and El Matador are there. Can one of them get a touch? What? Ooh, well read by Miko Chen. <laughs> Looks like Cool Joe just needs to kick to me next time. Yes? Hmm. Oh, the Kama are at their most dangerous on the counterattack. Super Slaker's tied to the group. But it's no use. Oh! Nakama take the first game. Seems the Crossing King has been dethroned. You lose, Super Strikers. <laughs> game over. You lose. <laughs> uh... Cool Joe? What? I think I know why Nakama can read your four spins. Oh, really? How? Urigiri was at the mocap studio yesterday. <laughs> Rewind there, brother. Urigiri was where? I'm sorry. I think he saw your moves. What did I tell you? All that digital juju, no emotion capture wireless <laughs> is no good, brother. Cool Joe, hey, you need to think about what happens to my ego when I'm not scoring goals, man. And don't be so selfish, okay? Thanks for coming by. We're totally gonna get our revenge in the return match. How, Shakes? Urigiri saw all my moves. 
The four pillars of spin ain't secret anymore. Hey, look on the bright side, Cool Joe. It can't get any worse. <clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Don't worry. I already signed this one for ya. Paddle power? I saw Nakama shut you down, Cool Joe. Told you I'm the new king of spin. But don't worry. Maybe you can learn a thing or two from my game. I got spin you can't even imagine. Ah! You like game shakes? Why not play ping pong till the new Super League game comes out? Table tennis, fool! Spin you can't even imagine, huh? Level one, your spin is thin. Level ten, sucker. Level 24, are you the next speed master? <laughs> Level 36, you got some moves, Slick. Level 50, oh yeah, new speed unlock, the cogs. I knew I could do it. Oh. I gotta find Chill John. Oh, come on, Shakes. At least wash your hands. Thanks for the help, Alex. It's the least I can do after my noob mistake with a mocap. This is the place. But I don't know how we're gonna get in, especially considering you're friends with Cool Joe. Undercover, of course. Don't want to give the game away. Uh, didn't we already do that? Corkscrew. Seriously, Cool Joe, there is a fifth spin, and I know how you can learn it. Please, Shakes. I've already learned my lesson. Why would I take your advice ever again? Listen to him, Cool Joe. Yeah, come on. We need you out there. Or I might not score any goals. Whatever. All Shakes has done the last few days is play Paddle Power. Yeah. That's kind of how I found out about the fifth spin. Video games, table tennis, chill John. These are a few of my least favorite things. The fifth spin exists. I developed it. Hm. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh. Huh. To help you learn the corkscrew extra fast, we're gonna mocap it and analyze it. Just like Uragiri did with your moves. I guess if video games got us into this mess, video games can get us out. Uh, there's one other thing. Just like in Paddle Power, the corkscrew has to be unlocked. Really? I want to prove once and for all who's the best spinner of them all. Like I said, I don't play the pawn. Table tennis! Uh, need goals, Cool Joe. Do it for me. And the team also. All you have to do is get one point off him. Let's stay at Strikerland! Last week, we saw these two teams aren't as evenly matched as they once were, Brenda. 
So, Coach has made a big change. Klaus is on the left wing, and Cool Joe is nowhere to be seen. crosses make scoring easy. No, they don't. Okay, maybe they do a little. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure Cool Joe got that point by now. Uh. <sighs> yo, yo, guy plays like a total badger. Come on, you scoundrel. Let him beat you. Just one point. No way, El Matador. I want to win fair and square. Oh, this is not the time for honor, Cool Joe. Forget your pride. Abandon your principles, man. No way. I have to embrace my principles. I'm no gamer like Shakes. I can't play table tennis like Chill John. I'm a footballer. Run, Run, Cool Joe. You can do it, Mom. You can do it. Wicked The facts don't lie, Chill John. The number one spinner mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is always the winner. You what are a legend. legend. Yes. Oh, what a rally. Foot table tennis? Come on! Deal's a deal, brother. The second half is underway. Fantastic news for Super Strikers. Looks like Cool Joe's on the field and immediately into the action. Woohoo! Go, Cool Joe! Even if Cool Joe can pull off the corkscrew, how do we know where it's gonna go? No practice and practice and practice, right? Yeah. And from what I've seen, the corkscrew has a mind of its own. What's the use, Cool Joe? We know all your spins. All right, this is it. Fifth spin coming up. I hope. One of four. It's sailing into the danger area. But it's gone past everyone. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that? Oh, yeah! The number one spinner is always the winner. <sighs> I lose! Nice! Like dusk. We're keeping that one. <sighs> oh, man. SL4000X is beyond awesome. Got you again, Urigiri. <sighs> I lose! <laughs> 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 Hey guys! Yo, 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 yo! Aw, oh, Shakes, you still playing that old school SL4000X game? 
we're jamming our new hybrid paddle power versus Super League game. Spinner takes all. I just got it delivered from Alex. <laughs> Looks cool. Can I try? No way, man. I've only got to like level 41. In time, brother. In time. <laughs> Superstriker's ace goal scorer Shakes returns to training after he's a rip. All right. I'm ready. Shakes, ah, shakes, amigo. Shakes. We're totally apt to have our star striker back, dude. But El Matador didn't go anywhere. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to score some goals. It's been way too long. Uh, you do know who we're facing next, right? <clears throat> Hark. Hmm. Well, you don't need to worry about getting injured again, Shakes. Presenting the ultimate in soccer safety equipment. An airbag for your shins. I need someone to kick me. I'll do it, Klaus. <laughs> See? I am completely a ninja. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. What do you got for me, coach? Shakes? We, we need, need to, to test, test your, your match, match readiness, readiness before, before you rejoin the first team. Match readiness test initiated. You're sure we aren't being a little tough on the guy, coach? If he can't take this, there's no way he'll handle Iron Tank. Match readiness rating, 25%. 50%. 75%. The moment of truth. Shake! Watch your man! Match readiness test aborted. <sighs> you called it, Coach Ma. His physical injury is healed. But the emotional scar remains. You gotta be kidding me, coach. You honestly expect me to just sit and watch while the guys battle Ian Tank? Of course not. I have an important solo mission for you. Super Strikers, we write to you in a time of desperate need. Only you can help us. Open our brand new mall? It doesn't have to be a mall opening. Movie premieres, theme parks, old age homes, take your pick. I don't want to make celebrity appearances. I want to take on Uber. You're not ready. Pick any event you want. Go anywhere in the world. But get your mind off Iron Tank. Video games on the state of the art tracking screen. Oh, Come on, sir. Sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. sir. Get back to work, you lazy dogs. Now, what is it you want to show me? Super Strikers have left for the Fortress Stadium. But Shakes is heading for China. Hmm. Suspicious. Keep me informed of all his movements.
Well, sure beats a mall opening. Shakes! Shakes! Welcome to the Yellow Emperor's Palace, official home of the History of Football Museum. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Sorry, tour guide mode, force of habit. I'm Shing. Come on, let me show you around. The museum features soccer from throughout history. That's mob football from 16th century England. Any number of players, no rules. Invincible United are playing in the wrong century. The ancient Greek game of Episkiros was more like modern soccer, with one big exception. Players could use their hands. Yeah, and they didn't wear pants. This is all very impressive, but why'd you guys need me here? You're gonna be the guest of honor at the unveiling of our new exhibit. You get to cut the ribbon. <laughs> all part of the service when you call Soccer Stars for Hire. So, can I get a sneak peek? Sorry, no one's allowed to see the exhibit before the grand unveiling. But I suppose I can make an exception for shakes from Super Strikers. What is that? Football's oldest known predecessor, Kuju. Players had to keep control of a ball while fighting off crazy kung fu attacks. This tapestry tells the legend of a teenager who single-handedly defeated a whole team of soldiers. Man, this is too cool. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on! Welcome to the Yellow Emperor's Training Arena. Whoa! Kuju was the Super League of ancient China, and the Emperor wanted to make sure his team was the best. So, he built this place. <laughs> Sounds like coach. I could show you some kuju moves if you want, you know. To use against Uber if he tries to injure you again. Thanks, but, uh, coach dropped me for the Iron Tank game. No ways. He doesn't think I'm ready to face Uber. Well, what better way to prove that you are than busting out some kuju moves? No offense, but if I was going up against Iron Tank, I'd need to learn from a master. You know, long beard, flowing robes, in riddles does speak. Report. Thor is about to break the club record. Not the game. Shakes! Sir, Shakes is under the history of football museum. I knew he was up to something. Iron Tank? Get ready to die. All right, then. Show me some of these kuju moves, master. Everything you need to learn is here. Whoa! What are you doing? Come on! Pick up the pace. If you can't dodge me, how are you gonna dodge a whole team of muscle freaks? Shakes, training is cancelled. What are you doing here? Ugh. I was wondering the same about you, Shakes, but 
Now I see what you're up to. You plan to use this fighting football against us. Over, you stalker creep. I'm not even playing against you. Coach left me off the team. Yeah, sure. You can't lie to a master strategist like me. I know your every move before you make it. Bet you didn't see that move coming, master strategist. Get her! She will teach us the kuju! Hey! Let go of me, walrus! Leave her out of this! Or what? Yeah, I thought so. Coach was right. I'm not ready. A teenager defeated a whole team of soldiers. Faster! Faster! Iron Tank will try to break your rhythm and dent your confidence. Uh, coach, that's not the only thing they'll try to break and dent. That's why you need to pick up the pace. If they can't catch you, they can't foul you. We don't need to worry about that anymore, Coach. I've got a new safety invention, the Slippery Spray. Someone kick me. <sighs> this again? Ow! Oh, I got to hand it to you, Klaus, man. That really works. Hmm, didn't see that one coming. All right, back to practice. <laughs> back to the drawing board. Tell us the secrets of the ancient fighting soccer, or you're going for a long, cold swim. All right, all right. Close your eyes and all will be revealed. That doesn't make any sense at all. Kuju is an ancient sport, shrouded in mystery. It doesn't have to make sense. <sighs> Fine. Ah! Oh! Oh! Why would I help you? You tried to end Sheikh's career. End his career? Please! A master strategist would never use such a crude tactic. The tackle on Sheikh's was just a way to implant a tracking chip. That's how they found me. Wait, if Uber put a tracking device in my leg, then... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another epic showdown live from the Fortress Stadium. Bad news for Super Strikers fans. Despite early signs that he'd be back from his injury, Shakes has not made the squad. Guys, you need to look after yourselves out there. We can't afford any more injuries. We're already one player short. Make that two, coach. Uh, where's Klaus? Let me guess. He's working on another safety invention? Huh? Tiger is totally right. Uh, introducing my latest safety invention, this uh, suit of armor. You were hiding, weren't you? Yeah. The only way to avoid being injured by Iron Tank is to avoid playing them. You think this game will be less physical than the last encounter, Mac? I very much doubt it, Brenda. And by the looks of it, so do Super Strikers. They're keeping their distance from the tank. And it's working. Super Strikers have a chance here. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> but El Matador is down. 
If he isn't celebrating, it must be bad. Yep, the game's only just started, and the men in red are two strikers down. Close. <laughs> You're going on. Yes, coach. Faster! Ah. Now, Iron Tank have a chance to attack Super Striker's goal. Well, makes a change from attacking Super Strikers. Oh, spoke too soon. Here comes the cross, but it's way too close to the keeper. <gasps> or not. Uh, oh! Iron Tank have plowed their way back into the game. And with Shakes and El Matador out, Coach is going to need an ace up his sleeve to win this one. You can't give up now, Shakes. Um, in case you hadn't noticed, we're locked in a cell. Come on! That's nothing for Shakes from Super Strikers, right? Doing here. Trained in an ancient temple, hitched a ride in Iron Tank submarine, you know, the usual. I specifically told you to get your mind off Iron Tank. Kinda difficult to do when they follow him around the world. Uh, this is Shing. She taught me an ancient soccer technique. Oh, uh, wait, too How many times do I have to tell you, Shanks? It's not about your technique. Now sit down. You're not playing. Man, coach is scary. Tell me about it. Go close! You can do it! Come on, Lanky! <laughs> Give it your best, Rizzo. <laughs> Don't make me tell you again, Shakes. I know. I'm not ready. But what other choice do we have? Shakes wasn't even in the squad. Then he's on the bench, and now he's playing? Hopefully he can last longer than his teammates did. Seems Shakes is more resourceful than we thought. Don't worry. He's too scared to face me. 80 minutes gone, and the scores are still tied. But Super Strikers still have some life in them. There's Shake's first involvement. Can he make the difference? Attack! Or will I didn't think run him down again? Let's see how Kuju holds up in the 21st century. Amazing move from Shake! Cool Shake! Ah! Where is he coming up with this stuff? Remember the Kuju legend. Time to finish the job!
can't believe that tiny chip caused that much trouble. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's smash the thing! Nah, I got a better idea. This is the worst mission ever. Switch your finding. It will all be worthwhile when we find out what Shakes' new secret training is. Von Eye, how close are we? Oh! Over there! Dear Uber, bet you didn't see this coming. Accuracy, boys. Yeah. Looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling in the midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. Feeling warm and looking good. This is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can't we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakesman. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. Arr. Brother? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an... Interesting landing. Attention, Iron Tank! This is your coach speaking! Ah, we can hear you! We are right here, Colonel! Colonel! I have picked up a nearby GPS signal. All the way out here? Hmm. Directive, change course! Ah, directive understood. Smooth landing, eh, boys? Man! Too smooth. <laughs> Big Bull, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. The rest of you, let's get to it. <laughs> Fast, Shakes. Sure thing, Coach. Oh! Bring it. <laughs> what?
Strikers, what are they doing here? Directive Lippery! Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours? Blag or blag? Smooth, 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 smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let Whoa. me see. A GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. A Bond push-up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakes, man! Hands up! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Iceberg now. We're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain. Feeling the cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. <laughs> uh. 
Time to blow the lid on your mission! Don't worry, guys. I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. Nope. He's out cold. Ah! Ah! Dude, you killed him! <gasps> Sorry. Cold messes with our equipment all the time. Is he gonna be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? Or... a very long time. Captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift. The world's most powerful hairdryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. <laughs> Target reacquired. Directive. Libre! <laughs> The hair dryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Stay out! Match day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warm enough. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh-huh. Sure, you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. Frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great. Come on. There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dancing. I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, mm -hmm. Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Yes! <laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive understood. I 
shapes. Hello, Doc. Great news. All the data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even think about it. No! Directive! Get that ball! Give it up, man! As my doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. Captain, huh? you're okay. Oh, everyone's gonna be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the Mangler. Sure. One thing, though. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah! Welcome yeah! back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of D Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's gonna remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shakes. Shakesmon, eh? The real Rasta calls me Shakesmon. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the charm Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Run. As the play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was on with Shakespeare! What's he... what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Their captain on ice. Super strikers are looking directionless. So what's the plan? Stand on the ball. Uh, brilliant! Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure, push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakesmon. Uh, 
Uh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a ticking. Final chance of the game. <laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. Directive Scrub! I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> We're into the final few minutes at the cauldron. Super Strikers are throwing everyone forward. They're desperate to find the equalizer. But Grimm's ghoulish defense is holding firm. If anyone can break through, it's El Matador. Super Strikers number 20 has done everything right today. Everything except score a goal, that is. Precision through ball from Dancing Rasta. Shakes draws the defense. It's an open goal! Woohoo! was so busy celebrating, he didn't bother to check if the pool went in. Oh, this is not going to be good for his confidence. It's over for me. Goodbye forever, soccer. Suck it up, bro. We all have a bad game now and then. Ah, you guys don't get it. I'm not special anymore. I'm just a regular player. Like the rest of you. Mm -hmm. uh, read some fan mail, dude. That'll cheer you up. Okay, man. I'll get on to that pronto. We'll see you at training, right? Yeah, yeah. See you there. De Los Santos. How confident are you feeling ahead of Azul's trip to Strikerland? Stopping Super Striker's attack is always a challenge, Lena. But I am feeling up to the job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, show off. Well, he does have the stats to back the confidence. That's why we'll be playing with three Strikers. Shakes, Klaus, and... Uh... Where is El Mando? Yeah, where is he? I haven't seen him. He had better have a good reason. Hello, you've reached El Matador. I will be unavailable forever. Oh, still this? Don't leave a message, and I won't get back to you. Goodbye. Still down about that miss, eh? Yep, moping at home. Huh. Well, there goes our three striker strategy, brothers. Hmm. Jakes, Klaus, come with me. I have a plan. El Matador's confidence has taken a major hit. I'm counting on you to get his mind right before the Azul game. I don't know, Coach. It's gonna take something big to get through to him. Whoa. Oh, oh. Welcome to our football technology vault. I always wondered where you kept this stuff, Coach. So, we put on the robo suit, grab El Matador, and bring him back, right? <laughs> Not quite. Activate Narcissus protocol. a state-of-the-art device created especially for this kind of situation. Ooh, what does it do? You 
You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just find El Matador, press the button, and the device will do the rest. El Matador! And even home! And I thought my place was untidy. Hmm? <gasps> hmm? Dear El Matador the Great, Forget what everyone else says, that miss wasn't your fault. It was obviously a bad pass from Shakes. Hmm. Come join your real fans. We believe in you no matter what. He wouldn't have. He, he, he couldn't have. His hair dryer isn't here. He never goes anywhere without it. Oh, he did. I don't know, Coach. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The don't worry, we'll get him back. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this baby does. Forget about the device, Klaus. We need to focus on getting El Matador back in time for the game. Hmm. It could be a fold-up helicopter. <gasps> or a hypnosis device. <gasps> Maybe it's a teleporter. A flux capacitor? A spaceship for ants? The world's smallest spotlight? A robotic homing pigeon? A Rubik's sphere? A gravity disruptor? VR projector? A trans-dimensional day spa? A silver snitch? A bright destroy? A Pokeball? Portable universe? Alien egg? Self-aware magic eight ball? <gasps> I have to know! <laughs> Must find out what it does. Oh! <laughs> ah! <gasps> Too close. Shakes is right. I have to focus on getting El Matador back in time. Back in time. <gasps> Klaus, we're here. Hmm? Gah, where did he go? <laughs> well, this is definitely the place. There's something fishy going on in there, Junior. Um, I'm looking for a friend. Uh, glasses, ponytail... There are many on board, but only one. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out, Junior. Everyone in there is crazy. Last stop. Everybody off. Ugh. Get El Matador back in time. The question isn't where am I, but when am I? Of course, a time machine. to find El Matador, but this is ridiculous. What? Okay, Shakes, activate the device and get El Matador out of here. Easy as... Klaus? Mm. Do not be alarmed by my strange clothes and futuristic haircut. I am a time traveler. Oh, great. Another crazy. I don't see anyone else here. First the ponytail guy, then the cheeky one with the spiky hair. The ponytail guy? Yes, 
The perfect place to get away from yourself, the past. Very clever, El Matador. Uh, where or when did the ponytail guy go? Rejoice! Our king is here! Feel the duty! Feel the duty! <laughs> Almost. It's feel the beauty! Duty! Beauty! Duty? Eh, close enough. See? We are your best fans! Huh? The shame! Look! <gasps> he mocks the Great One with this incorrect jersey number! What? This the only one in the shop. Mm. Come on, people. <gasps> Feel the duty? He's not worthy of the mighty El Matador. No! Oh, the team. Yeah! 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 Fine. I didn't even want to be part of your stupid club anyway. Sheesh. Those people won't let me anywhere near El Matador. <sighs> Our king is bored and demands entertainment. Who will step up for the skills battle? Winner will be given one-on-one -on -one face time with El Matador himself! Yeah! Oh! Gotcha. My shirt! My glasses! My pants! My dignity! <laughs> do any others challenge for an audience with the king? I do. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> there is only one explanation for this. All the El Matadors from every point in time have gathered here. <sighs> but I need the real El Matador. Good luck, challengers! Come back to Strike Land, El Matador. We need three strikers to get past De Los Santos. Uh, I'm sorry, Shakes. My place is here now. My people need me. But Super Strikers are your people. Unworthy! Off the team! <laughs> El Matador, come on! Please! El Matador! I'm sorry, my friend, but this is best for me and for Super Strikers. This one is big trouble. I don't want him coming back. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me... <sighs> Klaus! Thank goodness! Where did you go? I think you mean when did I go? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious that El Matador is hiding in the past. That's why Coach gave us the time machine. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? Well, what's your big theory then, Shakes? El Matador started a weird fan club consisting entirely of El Matador lookalikes and plans to rule them like a king. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, man, who they are or when they are, isn't important. What matters is that we get El Matador back. Well, what are we waiting for? Or Raza? Don't say it, dude. When are we waiting for? Yeah. All right, people, one more time. From the top, feel the beauty. Feel the beauty. Uh, I give up. Hey, El Matador. Oh, feel the duty? We are here to take our El Matador back to the present and the future. Or is that back to the future which was the present? 
Get them! Let's find out what this thing really does. If you're watching this, you're in trouble. We all feel lost from time to time. Perhaps you have lost the keys to your Lamborghini. You might have lost your socks. It's in not a time machine? <laughs> Brilliant! The only person El Matador listens to is himself, so Coach made an El Matador hologram to convince him to come back. Then it seems to be working on all of them. Or you're lost contemplating your own beauty. Perhaps you are lost in time, lost in space, and me. But remember, you are the greatest player of the age. Super Strikers need you because, like a Lamborghini, without the key, they just aren't as good. Come on. Come on. I don't want to, 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 I don't want to. Oh, crazy! You need to fulfill your destiny at Strike Alive. Help me, El Matador. I am my only hope. You heard the glorious ponytailed leader? Super Strikers need us! Yeah! Yeah! Super Striker Man! Yeah! Man! Yeah! Hmm. You may have got me back to Striker Land, but I'm not playing. Hmm. hmm. You did use the hologram, right? It should have worked. We used it all right. Just not how you intended. What are you talking about? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you? The Azul fans are looking confident today, folks. Well, I would too if I had the mighty De Los Santos in goal. Odd, though, that Coach has opted to keep El Matador on the bench. Yeah, tough to see Super Strike is getting past Azul's keeper without it. Chance for Super Strikers. What a shot! But not enough to beat De Los Santos. Fun warm up. <laughs> when are we gonna start playing for real? Shakes and Klaus are giving it their all. But it's not enough! De Los Santos is just too good. I have an idea. It's an oldie, but a goodie. We're almost at the end of the first half. Can Shakes and Klaus finally get past De Los Santos? Shakes hits the post! And the ball goes straight to Klaus! Oh! Huh? Come on, Shakes. You beat me with that trick before. It's going to take much more than that to beat me again. Oh. Hate to say it, Coach, but this isn't working. Yeah, we need three strikers out there. We need El Mar Don't even say his name. I don't want to see any more of that guy. Yeah, we may have accidentally played the hologram message to a bunch of crazy El Matador fans. <gasps> That's it. I'm calling security. Coach, hang on a minute. I think there's a way we can use this. My people! I knew you'd come to get me. And that's not the only good news. Really? Yeah, we found your replacement. Ah! I always knew I had it in me to be the best El Matador ever. That's what you wanted, right? No, 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 Coach. These are just fans who adore me. Wonderful. Them. With you on board, <laughs> De Los Santos has no chance. Hey, why don't we give him El Matador's locker? Oh, perfect. We even have the same number. Yeah, sounds yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Mind, El Matador? No! 
Not at all. Oh, in that case, we can give him your hair dryer too, right? He is the one on the pitch, man. His hair needs to look better than yours. Oh. That's it! There are plenty of people who look like me, but there is only one El Matador. Prove it. Huh? I'll put you on, but if you don't produce the goods, I'm going to replace you with the El Matador who really wants to be here today. Me, 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 me. Come on, my people. Let's go and beat the Azul. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Halftime substitution for Super Strikers. Coach brings on El Matador. We're well into the second half. Scorers are tight, and Super Strikers are on the attack again. But this time, they've <laughs> unleashed their full firepower. Brilliant build-up play. But it doesn't count for a thing if they can't get it past De La Santos. Klaus shoots. De La Santos saves. She latches onto the rebound. De La Santos saves again. But, but here comes El Matador. Beauty! <laughs> El Matador really is one of a kind. Uh, someone needs to tell them that. <laughs> he is so beautiful! <laughs> it's good to be me! Yes, yes. Come on, come on, huh? Oh, forget it! I'll get my fish from the supermarket! Whoa! <laughs> hey, man! Watch out, man! Here I come, man! I like to say, man, man! It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargle, blargle. Blah, blah, blargle. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson. My technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can own any player from any team in your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador! 
coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> El Matador is the best player. He is the one all fans adore. El la 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 My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of technovision magic, of course. Ah! Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. <laughs> you it's gunk! I'm getting out of here! The skunk. Mm. Oh. It stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. Hmm, my glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technically, have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We got to be prepared for Technically. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! No, you don't! Oh. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. <gasps> Johnson, Jr.? <gasps> What are you doing in my lap? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. A matador! I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> uh, what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. <gasps> According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys?
Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails were not a fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I, I, uh... Fine! I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. <clears throat> that went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. <gasps> John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. OK, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama. El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm mm. Drama. Check. What else? Action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pff, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes! Help! El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador? I think you should look at this. Huh? Oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, shakes. What am I going to do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude, we have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on. I'm your friendly, super reliable, goal-getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in Red Hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude, what happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys, yeah? what are you talking about? Uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador. It's showtime! And we're off. <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? 
Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, come back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! I was wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Oh. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Matador wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh. Ooh. Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now, listen. El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back. Defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? What? Whoa! Uh, hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shakes. Uh... I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touch my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> 
Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? Nobody touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Team Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Oh, what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. Oh, man. Clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> hmm. I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals. I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Ah, no. Of course. <laughs> The Lost Stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a land. Match day at Strikerland! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Palmentieri's Starman. 
The master of flair. The Samba King. John Aldo. Welcome to the end of the road. Hello. Ha! You think you can stop my Samba style? That's cute. When you're as skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha-ha! <laughs> the Brazilian maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. Shaw, you'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? Please, Doggle, Doggle, Doggle. He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break, a chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we going to do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. <whistles> North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence-building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promised to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation Badge, my Campfire Badge, my Air Guitar Badge, my uh -huh. Mime Badge, my Listing Things Badge, my Crochet Badge, my Life of the Party Badge, my Pancake Eating Badge, my Growing Up Badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues Badge. Whoa, this is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out! This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet! Hold up, North! Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP. Right? Yeah, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... There's some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? 
Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North? Didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax! It's a big corner! Yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl. No, 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 no. It's a wind. Hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it! It's a waterfall! Ooh. Waterfall! <gasps> Have you done? Why would we want to hang out in some lame hotel when we could go on an epic adventure? <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're gonna find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's some made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. Contact to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? I've got a game to win. on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to baby came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill. It's an adventure, dude. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Ventura, lead the way. Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! Oh, hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah.
dudes. The ball's bouncing all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my junior wilderness cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> because I'm a fake. I got all my junior wilderness cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. I put a tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. point of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Sauce. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! yes. Then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, One, right two, on. three, <laughs> Super Strikers! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to. Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but the question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. Oh! Ecstasy for Paul Mentieri, but agony for Super Strikers. second half is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the 
away North Shaw and block played last game. Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm going to make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've got to make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it going to help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hmm? hates this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. didn't. Every coach in Grimm's long history has stored their football knowledge in an ancient, powerful book. The Tactinomicon! <gasps> Could someone please close that window? Sorry! Uh, whatever. So over the top. The ghost train does sound kind of... Don't say it, dude! Scary. Huh? Why? Really? Uh, aren't we going to need a goalie to stop the ghost train? Yeah, why does Big Bo get time off before the game? Big Bo is doing top secret preparation for the ghost train. He's our last line of defense against them. Strikers have a personal significance for Grim FC? 
Big Bo did accidentally injure your legendary striker, Spike Dawson. Not at all. Spike Dawson was a great player, but his spitefulness tainted the good name of this club. I'm glad to say we've seen the last of him. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. My beautiful trophies. But my collection is incomplete. Not for long, though. Soon I will end Big Bo's career just like he ended mine! And claim his gloves as my final trophy! Spike! I baked you some strudel! Mother! Don't interrupt me while I'm plotting revenge! Don't you backchat me, young man! Sorry, Mom. Planning to leave the Goli Cave anytime soon, sir? It's getting musty in here. All worth it, Albert. I'm beginning to understand how Grimm's new move works. They stay in a very tight formation to hide the position of the ball. The keeper doesn't know where the shot is coming from. My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on to stand any chance against the ghost train. And how do you plan to achieve that, sir? The quad cannons. I told Grim FC they'd be nothing without me! Especially after I steal their precious Tactonomicon! Now, to pay Big Bo a visit. Huh? Mom! I'm stuck! Don't worry, dearie. I'll get the Sprudel Grits. We'll get you out of there in no time. Activate quad cannons. Quad cannons activated. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you the first thirty times. Would you like to buy some strudel, dearie? Hmm. Delicious. Come inside. I can't resist a good strudel. Why, thank you. Dearie. an authorized quad cannon technician. Ah, my beautiful trophy. <laughs> this revenge thing is getting really old, Spike. I won't stop until End I... End my career just like I ended yours. Like I said, old. But I'm not injured. Your plan failed. Ha! That's what you think! 
But you're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo. Huh? Me, sir, could you help me, please? I'm terribly sorry, sir. That old woman lured me in with lies and delicious strudel. That wasn't an old woman. It was Spike Dawson. Spike Dawson? After all this time, what are we going to do about him? Nothing for now. I need to rest up for the game against Grimm. <sighs> Are you done playing with your friend, Spike? Sworn enemy, Mother! Big Bo is my sworn enemy! And the game I'm playing is only just beginning. <laughs> Super League Disciplinary Board. I have information regarding the theft of the Dectonomicon. Morning, sir. Sleep well? Yep. I'm ready to bring the ghost train screeching to a halt. Don't buy any strudel, okay? Very funny, sir. I'm Agent One. I'm Agent Two. From, From the, the Super League, League Disciplinary Board. I don't have a number yet, but if I help crack the case, I can totally earn one! Read your agent rulebook, rookie. Rule 4.73. A Super League agent always remains calm. It keeps your mind clear and makes you look extra cool at all times. Uh, how exactly can I help you, gentlemen? We got a tip-off that Big Bo was involved in the theft of the Tactonomicon. You're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo! Spike wasn't trying to injure me. He was trying to frame me. Mind if we take a look around? you think Big Bo was involved in this crime? We got an anonymous tip. Besides, with Big Bo facing the ghost train, no one would have more to gain from stealing the book. I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Protocol, Junior. Rule 1.7. A Super League agent never smiles. There's some kind of grease on here. Same stuff we found on Grimm's bus. Big Bo is now our prime suspect. I want Strike a Land secured immediately. Spike must have planted the Tactonomicon here last night. He's trying to get me banned for life. So, what are we going to do about it? Clearing my name would be good, but duty calls. The game, sir? At the risk of stating the obvious, there's nowhere to hide on a football pitch. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to. Here we go. The Super League Agent's Rulebook. I have a plan that'll let me play the game, stop the ghost train, and prove Spike framed me. Sounds easy enough, sir. Match night at Strikerland. And the terrifying Grim fans descend on the stadium. But they're nothing compared to the team itself. <laughs> But by far the weirdest thing tonight is Super Strikers are starting with their number two goalie, Noah Murdoch. If any goalie can stop the ghost train, surely it's Big Bo. Hear that, Brenda? Chugga, 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 chugga. Do, do. Here comes the ghost train. Where's the ball? No idea, dude. Super Strikers are gonna need a bigger goalie. Hold it. We're looking for someone matching your description. Never mind. Move along, kids.
the ghost plane! I'm so sorry, guys. I let you down. Don't worry, dude. No one's been able to stop the ghost train so far. <gasps> Bingo? Where have you been, man? Well, Spike framed me for stealing the Tactonomicon, and now I'm kind of on the run from the SLDB. Huh? <gasps> I hate to be Captain Insensitive, but... Did you find a way to stop the ghost train, Big Bo? Don't worry, guys. I know all the angles. Wait a second. If you can stop the ghost train, it'll totally seem like you stole the Tactonomicon. It is gonna look weird, man. Have you thought about, you know, missing the save on purpose? Yeah, some things are more important than football. Mm. Or not. I won't let Spike Dawson win. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna stop the ghost train. How are you even gonna get on the pitch? This place is crawling with Super League agents. With a bit of luck and a bit of help from the Super League rule book. The good news for Super Strikers fans is that the hapless Noah Murdoch has been taken off. And the uh, bad news, Mac, is that they haven't replaced him. Super Strikers are starting the second half without a goalkeeper. Big Bo, stop right there. Rule 54.72, know the suspect. You put your whole career at risk just to learn how to stop the ghost train. There's no way you'd miss this game. You, you guys got it all wrong. I didn't steal the Tactonomicon. I was framed by Spike Dawson. Give yourself up, Big Bo. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I don't need to hide. Rule 7.94. Ah, don't tell me. I know this one. <laughs> no Super League agents are allowed on the field during game time. Slip through our fingers. I want him apprehended the moment the final whistle blows. Affirmative. 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 With Big Bo back on the pitch, do Super Strikers have a chance against Grimm? We're about to find out, Brenda. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, guys. Big Bo risked everything for this team. Let's make it worth his while. Affirmative. It's a goal. This is an outrage. Big Bo's a cheat. The name Spike Dawson ring any bells? Big Bo claimed he set him up. Bah! Ridiculous. Spike Dawson's ancient history. Hello? Anybody home? What's that? You're on the run from the law? Oh, I'll just let myself in then. Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. With Big Bo out the way, I can finally collect my trophy. What? No, no! This can't be! Grim FC on the attack oh. again. But this time, the mighty Big Bo stands between them and the goal. Huh? He's playing? Those clubs will be mine! <laughs> so far, so good. It's all up to you now, sir. Big Bo helped his team level the scores! But his real challenge is about to begin! <laughs> the Ghost Train! Can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of hope Big Bo misses. I know what you mean, man. Right, Big 
Affirmative. You really need some new lines, son. Affirmative. Strudel? <laughs> huh? Crunchy, delicious strudel? Strudel? Get your hot strudel! <gasps> gotcha. <laughs> huh? We're well into injury time. Will Big Bo prevail? Or will the ghost train ride him down? I have to lure Spike out into the open, or I'm done for. But how? Ah, my beautiful trophy. Positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on. Big Bo's taking the gloves off, literally. He's really bought into the whole showmanship thing. Big Bo will pay for his disrespect. <laughs> over Big Bo's gloves. Hey, isn't that Spike Dawson? Gotcha. What? Big Bo was telling the truth. All agents move in. Get Spike, Spike Dawson. Dawson. You did it! <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. This soccer mystery of the century and all the strudel you can eat and I missed them both. Luckily, Big Bo catches everything. Yeah, man. You really weren't kidding when you said you had all the angles covered. How did he fit in there? Strudel grease. Ew. Hey, isn't that the same stuff they found on Grimm's bus and on the Tectonomicon? Great work, Junior. You've earned these. <laughs> Protocol, Greenhorn. A Super League agent never smiles. But we'll allow it this one time, Agent 3. 127. Spike What have I told you about playing in the garbage? Uh, sorry, Mother. Well, come on, then. Let's go home. Welcome to the Super League's roughest fixture. Invincible United versus Iron Tank. And today's showdown will be even more intense than usual. The winner gets a place in the Super League final. Super Strikers secured their spot last week and will no doubt be keeping a close eye on this game. Uh-huh. Oh, that you right. got it. These guys suck. We would have scored four goals by now. Totally. Yeah. Please, dudes. The defenders are owning this game. Mm, defenders. Oh, you mean those guys I run past when I score the goals? Berserker. Automatic to take the throw in. Can United make something of this? I don't know, Mac. He's pretty far from the box. This is not good. Utter 
domination from Invincible United, and it's all thanks to their new star man, Automatic! Yep, unless Super Strikers find a way to stop him, it'll be automatic victory for United in the final. Berserker, berserker, sir. Yep, we're totally done for. But you guys can stop anything in the air. Yeah, can't you just header it away? Headering ain't gonna help us against the long throw. Hey, eh? What are you talking about? A cross or a corner needs height to get distance, but Automatic's throw comes in low and hard, Rawr. like a cannonball. The slightest touch from anyone, even your own defenders, and the ball's in the back of the net. Yep. Mm. Oh. Like a cannonball, hey? I think I know someone who can help us. Zergum, Zergum. Yeah, coach. This heading guru may have helped Shakes, but defensive heading is totally different. Trust me, dudes. His methods are a little unusual. Power! His facilities are kind of low-tech. Accuracy! And he's really demanding. Guts! But when it comes to headers, no one's better than El Ariete, the battering ram. All right, all right. That training does sound kinda hardcore. Kinda? I'm the only player who ever passed. Shakes is right. If anyone can get you ready to face automatic, it's El Ariete. You have one week before the final. Make it count. Shakes, chances are this dude's waiting for us with a cannon. Uh -huh. All right, let's show El Ariete the Super Striker's defense is ready for anything. Strikers, welcome to header training. Have a complimentary gift bag. Uh, I was not ready for that. If you want to learn how to header, you must master three simple skills. First, power. <laughs> Accuracy. <laughs> and guts. Hello? Shakes, El Ariente's training is the worst. Yay! This place is a theme park, a tourist trap, a total gimmick. Are you sure it's the same El Ariete? Because the training I did was insane. Maybe you forwards just don't understand the meaning of real hardcore oh. training. If you don't believe me, just look in El Ariete's book of graduates. My name is the only one in there. <sighs> Whatever. Huh. We are just as hardcore as the defenders. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to the day spa right now to get all these hardcore knots massaged out of my muscles. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to ask him to make my hot heart treatment extra hot. Come on, dude. We've wasted enough time here. The real training? Come on. Shakes doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, the dude thinks a jumping castle is hardcore. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We look for the book. Where do you think El Ariente keeps it? If it even exists. And then we do 300 push ups, wrestle a moose, and run up a mountain? Backwards. Is that hardcore? So, does that answer your question? Uh, no. I asked how North and Block plan to stop Automatic's throw in. <laughs> Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> Suspicious. There's no way Coach would give his defenders time off before the final. Doesn't matter, Vince. We've got him.
We can't lose. Wrong. Automatic's throw is only the first step to guarantee our victory. And what's step two? Sabotage, of course. Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> so, what's in Ibiza? The battering ram. is more like it. is off limits. What are you doing here? Looking for the real header training. The one you gave Shakes? It is the same training Shakes got. Just in a safer, more controlled environment. We're about to face an unstoppable throw-in. We need the most hardcore header training there is. We need the battering ram. Sorry. That's just not me anymore. <sighs> Your training was so hardcore, only one player ever made it through. Now you hand out certificates to whoever shows up. Yep, was worth a shot. Hot shots! You want the real head of training? You got it! Not bad, hot shots. news of Sheik's training got out. Everybody wanted lessons. And, like you, they were very persistent. So eventually I gave them what they wanted. But I had already created my masterpiece. Something I thought I would never use. The ultimate header training. So, no one's passed this? Ha! Huh. No one's even seen it. Huh? Hey! I thought we were the first people to come down here. Those aren't people. They're your opponents. <laughs> Super League News Flash. I'm Rob Ross. Uh, guys. While North Shaw and Block have gone missing in the build up to the final, Scar is so confident he's taking a holiday in Ibiza. Ha! That guy gives us hardcore for it's a bad name. I'll take a holiday when I'm dead. Yeah. Or if the weather's nice. Or if there's a sale on clothes. Guys, that isn't a holiday, it's sabotage. My machine will teach you to defend against this so-called unstoppable throw-in. If you hotshots are up to the job. I've never seen the battle score such an easy goal. Then start coaching, bro. 
What do we do? Stop behaving like defenders! Forget about the opposition! Attack the ball like a forward! No man marking? But that... that goes against everything we've ever learned! No risk! No reward! Aw, closed! This sucks. Huh? <laughs> so, where's this famous heading coach? Don't know. He's taking the day off. Or maybe he's giving private lessons. <laughs> in time for the Super League fight. <laughs> Sorry, losers, but Invincible United are gonna finish top of the ladder this season. <laughs> Hot shots. Think we can make it? No risk, no reward. Uh, not exactly what I meant, but. Defenders finally show up. You guys aren't the only ones who did hardcore training. We walked on the hot pavement, barefoot. And only waited 10 minutes after eating before taking a swim. And? Did you learn how to stop automatics throw? Yeah, turns out the trick is to attack the ball like a forward. Ha-ha! <laughs> Told you guys forward for the most hardcore. Block and North may be able to stop automatic, but it'll take all of you to win the trophy. One, two, three, Super Striders! So I drop it right, and I'm like, we're gonna finish top of the ladder, huh? That's why I have three steps to guarantee victory. Oh yeah, and what's the third? Always have an ace up your sleeve. Okay, Mr. Buckethead, I have one last mission for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Super League Final. Invincible United versus Super Strikers. Great reception for both sides today. And great reception for me. <laughs> United must be the favorites here. Even the mighty Iron Tank had no answer for automatic throwing. Can Super Striker's defense do any better? Game on! Easy to guess Invincible United's game plan. Yep, get the ball out. And into Automatic's deadly hands. Unusual positioning from North and Block. You need to mark a man. Yeah, that's what we thought. I hope you two know what you're doing. Mm. And there it is! The deadly long throw!
shot. But it takes more than defending to win a game, Brenda. Indeed. If it carries on like this, it's going to penalties. Ha! About time. All right, boys, stay sharp. Only three minutes more. Uh, guys. They're bringing their goalie forward? An extra man? This completely tips the balance in United's favor. But it does give us a chance to hit them on the counter. Yeah, if we can get back possession. And quickly, too. So, any ideas? You sure, dude? That sounds super risky. No risk. Last chance of the game. Will the goalie make the difference? Well, he seems to have super striker spook. North and block are finally marking United. And here's the run up from automatic. Oh! What a move! Super Strike has planned that! <laughs> now that's risky! How fast can you run? Get back! Everyone, get back! make a difference. We just didn't guess which goalie. This never gets old, does it, boys? Well, guys, I suppose that proves it. Defenders and forwards are soft. Goalkeepers are the most hardcore. <laughs> hey! What's so funny? So much for your three-step plan, Vince. I never said there were only three steps. <sighs> really? What's next? If you can't beat them, join them. Who is it? What do you want? Oh, uh, just some ex-students. Burger, burger! A chance! That move was the riskiest thing I have ever seen. So? You gonna take your own advice and stick to real header training? No risk, no reward, right? Yes, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Welcome to header training. minutes at Strikerland, and the score is still tied. But Laquito makes another break for goal. And he's fast as ever, 18 miles an hour. But if there's one man who can keep up with him, it's Twisting Tiger. 19 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour for Laquido. Oh, 21 for Tiger! <laughs> Cynical tackle from Laquido. But the ref says play on. Looks like you need a new lucky charm, bro. With Twisting Tiger on the ground, no one can catch Liquido. Goal! Oh. One nil to the visitors. And there's Liquido's signature shirt up celebration. Can you believe that guy? Yeah, Liquido totally fouled you, Tiger. Just wait till next game. You're gonna own him. Oh, please. If you think you're gonna get lucky at the floating stadium, you're wrong. I'm always faster at home. Voila! 
Hmm. Too much fat, too much sauce, and too much food. I need the guys lean and mean for the return leg. I am Jacques Cousteau, creator of culinary intrigue. I am not here to help people diet. Sorry, Jacques. Extreme circumstances call for extreme preparation. Isn't that right, boys? <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome, coach. Uh, what are we doing in here? Prof? No, oh, nah. Well, it's quite possible Hydro are the fastest team in the Super League because of their ingress to the greatest natural resistance training apparatus in the known universe. Um, uh, can you translate that for the average human? <laughs> and also for El Matador, please. Hydro train underwater. Exactly, Block. Water is a thousand times denser than air. Training in it will make playing on land seem like, well, actually running on air. Okay, let's see if underwater training has made you any faster on land. Fastest first. Yeah, look out, Liquido. Tiger, you hit 24 miles per hour last game. Let's see if you can beat that. Gotcha, coach. 20... Unbelievable. Dude. Oh, man. And the longer you train in water, the faster you'll be. We leave for the floating stadium in three days. Uh, back in the tank? Back in the tank. Seven years at ship school. Nine years at Bistro Bazanto. Six Michelin stars for this. What is this? It's what I call rice limage. Rice on a bit of more rice in the shape of your face. Come on, coach. We've trained underwater the whole week. Can't we have some real food? Your training will count for nothing if you aren't lean and mean, boys. Yeah, coach. We're lean and you're mean. How about a deal? If we beat Hydra, we get to have an awesome feast right here on the way home. So, what do you say, coach? <sighs> sure. Yeah! <laughs> Ready to lose again? Don't be so sure, dude. Yeah, been doing some underwater training of our own. What? Did you practice in the bathtub? We train in the ocean, right up until the game. That's why we're always faster at home. Tiger hit 28 miles an hour. Yeah, that's right. He'd beat you for pace anytime, any place. Oh, yeah? How about right now? on the bottom of the ocean. What? I don't know about this, guys. Next level underwater training? A chance to show Liquido up? Come, Come on, on, dude! dude. <sighs> Fine. Compact breathing apparatus? Air lasts for ages. Comms device, built into your mask. Good for dissing. <gasps> Weight belt, stops you from floating back up to the surface. Helpful. Don't really have a choice. Been thrown in the deep end. 
You see anything? Too far down. Man, worst FOMO ever. Ready to be school. <laughs> Faster. What do you think of that, Liquido? Huh? Liquido? <laughs> huh? See a match day, bro. No! Wait, Liquido! How do I get this belt off? With my lucky charm. Mwah. <laughs> Tiger? <gasps> yeah! You weigh a ton, <sighs> dude! How do you get this thing off? You can't! Liquido set me up. There's only one key. And he has it. Ugh, that sea snake! Yeah, what was I thinking? We gotta tell Coach. No, 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 no. Don't need to bother him, dude. We'll totally find the key. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, we got this. <sighs> Fine. You've heard of the Super League, right? Now, low in fat, low in amoeba acids, and low in taste as well, I give you Super Legumes. Uh, beans? Yeah, beans. All worth it when we beat Hydra, boys. Any luck? Ah, <sighs> no sign of the key. Or Liquido. Tiger? Uh, Jock! So, how's the celebration menu coming along? It will be one of the finest meals I have ever made. And definitely the finest meal any of you have eaten. Really? Like, what are you thinking? How about hot dogs, Jacques? Of course! Yeah, you bet I want to me. I would rather make the diet food. Stupid faulty chair. Uh, what a weak chair, right? I know what's going on here. Tiger. You haven't been sticking to the diet, have you? Uh, busted, Tiger. <laughs> Get back on track, Tiger. We need you in top form tomorrow. <sighs> Too close. You guys said you'd get me out of this thing. Now do it. Telling coach. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh no! This is bad. Uh, you must really feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. It isn't the weight of the world. It's Hydra's weight. Weren't you listening? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I've let everyone down. I was ready for this game, and now I'm useless. <sighs> Coach, we'll do whatever it takes to sort this out. Correct. You two are getting the toughest job on the pitch. Twisting Tiger's job. You're marking Liquido. Tiger, just because you're on the bench doesn't mean we don't need you 100% focused on this game. Sure, Coach. Uh, the 
first health food, now. At <laughs> dogs. I feel so ashamed. Hey, Mr. Chef, you open for business? <laughs> I am Jacques Cousteau. I serve kings, not peasants. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Game's about to start, and I gotta get my munch on. Yeah, we'll eat whatever. Prepare yourselves for the gourmet feast of a lifetime. Match day at the Floating Stadium. Oh boy, here we go, Brenda. Tiger versus Laquido, the battle of the speedsters. Uh, I don't think so, Mac. Uh, what is Coach thinking? He's put his fastest player on the bench. But, but, why? And we're off. Can Super Strikers contain Liquido without twisting Tiger? Shakes immediately marks Liquido. But you don't need a speed tracker to know he's just not fast enough. Too soon, Brenda. Too soon. Now North is on Liquido. Coach isn't giving Hydra an inch. <sighs> Liquido's through on goal. What great last ditch tackle from North Shaw. This is a good start from Super Strikers. Shakes and North are making life tough for Laquido. I don't know if I can keep this up for 90 minutes. Maybe we don't have to. Follow my lead. Prepare to have your taste buds enlightened. Uh, you don't do hot dogs? You said you did anything I served. Yeah, but it's a soccer match, bud. You gotta make hot dogs. The hot dogs are for Super Strikers. If I give them to you, what will they eat? <laughs> Two hot dogs coming right up. We are well into the final third, and still no sign of Twisting Tiger. <laughs> Wow, Liquido, you are fast. Yeah, don't you know it? Pity you don't have a chance to prove you're the fastest. Huh? Well, Tiger did beat you on your underwater pitch. Uh, hello? I threw the underwater game? Sure you did, buddy. In a real race, I take Twisting Tiger any day. Oh, yeah? Prove it. <laughs> right. You want me to give you the key. Nice try. But this game ain't for pride. It's for points. Oh. Goal! Finally, Super Striker's two-on-one strategy has caved in. And here comes Liquido's shirt-up celebration. Uh, or not. <gasps> How do I get this belt off? With my lucky charm. Coach, Liquido's signature celebration. He didn't do it. So? Really? Put me on and I'll find out. Can you even get close to Liquido with that belt on? One chance is all I need. <laughs> Hundreds of hot dogs, ready to roll! Woohoo! So delicious! Two for me, please! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man, gotta scram! Something big's happening! Good riddance to bad nourishment. Tell your friends, okay? Super Striker's substitution. Ah, uh, finally! Tiger 
Water is so slow! One chance. Wow! Twisting Tiger's giving it his all! But it hasn't worked. <laughs> Guess we have final proof your charm isn't lucky, bro. You should worry about your own lucky charm. <gasps> what? But that means... You think underwater training makes you fast? It's nothing compared to weight belt training. Liquido shoots! Big Bo is beat! What? Looks like the tide may have turned. <laughs> Come on, dude. I thought you'd take Twisting Tiger any day. Ah. 29 miles an hour for Tiger! But Liquido is still on him, Mac. <laughs> Hey, Liquido. See? My lucky charm always delivers. Hey, uh, do you think if I kissed that thing, I'd get more lucky? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tiger. That was some plan. Now, unless I'm mistaken, it's time to chow down on some epic hot dogs! Woohoo! <laughs> Get your hot dogs here! The finest hot dogs ever created! Hey! Isn't that our celebration meal? Now that's fast food! Jacques, what is going on here? I'm just giving the people what they want. And they wanted hot dogs! But what are we gonna eat? Finally, a five-star gourmet fist pit for Super League Kings. Bon appétit, Super Strikers. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Being the most refined of all of you, I love this gourmet food. Snails and fish eggs. Whoa. Coach, where are Tiger Shakes and Noah? Do you really think I'd let them join the feast after the stunt they pulled? Oh, shame. Poor guys. All right, Tiger! <laughs> uh, but how? They ran out so fast. Not as fast as me. 